Hello and welcome back to the last session of the human reproduction. In the previous parts, we had came to the part of the pregnancy period. Now in this class, we are looking at the parturition and lactation parts. Okay. Now, as far as the parturition and lactation is concerned, it is the next part of the pregnancy. As we say, human placenta is said to be decidual type. That means after nine months, there is a delivery of the baby. This process is termed as a parturition and it is under the control of hormones also. So what is par parturition? The process of giving birth to child. It is called as a parturition. It is also termed as a, the delivery of a fully developed fetus or the delivery of the fully developed fetus or a baby is said to be parturition. Now for the process of a parturition or for the process of delivery of the baby, what are the conditions here? Now the placenta induces certain reflex is called as a fetal ejection reflex. Fetal ejection reflex where we also call it as FER. The placenta it will produce a mild contractions in the uterine layer which is called as a fetal ejection reflex. This fetal ejection reflex through its uh, neuroendocrine system, it stimulates the pituitary gland to release a hormone called as a oxytocin. So then oxytocin is released. Now, this oxytocin is responsible for the wild contractions in the uterine muscles. As we know, uterus is made up of muscles. The uterine muscle is called as myometrial layer. And that myometrial layer, it induces uh, the contractions, wild contractions, rapid contractions, so that it pushes the fetus, fully developed fetus to eject from the it's a cervical as well as vaginal region. So when it puts a pressure on the fully developed fetus or the baby, that wild contraction is exhibited or it is under the control of a oxytocin hormone. So this oxytocin, it stimulates wild contractions wild contractions in the uterine muscles when it stimulates wild contractions in the uterine muscles then ultimately the fetus is ejected out the fetus is released out this process is said to be parturition or it is also called as a delivery okay so this is regarding the part of the parturition that means uh, parturition is under the control of uh, a placental uh, hormone called as a uh, fetal ejection reflex a placenta exhibits mild contractions in the uterine muscles which is called as a fetus ejection reflex that means uh, the fetal ejection reflex along with the oxytocin hormone are responsible for the wild contractions of the uterine muscles uh, so that the baby can take its uh, birth Okay, so this is what is termed as a parturition. Because of this reason, oxytocin hormone is called as a uh, delivery hormone or parturition hormone. That's why oxytocin is said to be, is called a parturition hormone. So which is called as a parturition hormone, oxytocin is said to be parturition hormone there is a one more function of the oxytocin also there is one more function after parturition there is a lactation okay now let's see what is a lactation here lactation is the process of a production of a milk in the mammary gland of the females so lactation is a production of milk in mammary glands this is what is termed as a lactation or we call it as a milking period after the delivery of the baby after parturition the young one has to be nourished through the mother's milk and that process is called as a 
lactation now after delivery of the baby the milk has to be released when the baby sucks the mother's milk and that's why the milk ejecting hormone again it is a oxytocin only and hence apart from the function of a parturition there is another function of the oxytocin oxytocin is also called as milk ejecting hormone is also called as a milk ejecting hormone because the milk has to be released through the mammary glands of the mother when the baby sucks the mother's milk that's why oxytocin is having dual function it is also called as a birth hormone parturition hormone also termed as a birth hormone or delivery hormone then oxytocin other function is it is also called as a milk ejecting hormone because the milk has to be released out the milk has to be ejected out after the process of delivery so that the babies can be nurtured with the help of the mother's milk now the first milk produced by the mother is called as a colostrum the first milk the first milk produced by produced by the mother now here what happens sir the first milk that is produced by the mother is said to be colostrum then why we call it as a colostrum the first milk produced by the mother is a rich in antibodies it is a rich in antibodies this is a rich in antibodies and these antibodies are made up of specially iga immunoglobulin a now when the baby is feeding on the mother's milk during the lactation period it gets the first milk which is called as colostrum colostrum is rich in antibodies like iga now this iga it provides immunity it provides immunity for the developing baby then what is the lactation period in the females the lactation period might be around 6 months 9 months or it might be up to 1 year also now till the lactation period till the milking period there will be no menstrual cycle in case of the females because as the baby will be feeding on the mother's milk there will be no menstrual cycle that's why during the lactation period the pregnancy cannot be carried out for about few months for about few months it may vary in uh, from one to the other females also but generally during the lactation period there will be no menses and uh, during the period of uh, lactation the baby will be nurturing by the mother's milk which helps uh, in its uh, growth and development so this is regarding the part of uh, parturition as well as uh, lactation and the hormones that control parturition as well as uh, lactation okay so just remember these uh, two things both are mainly controlled by oxytocin and that oxytocin is mainly released by the pituitary gland under the stimulation of a uh, neuronal layers under the stimulation of the neural system oxytocin is released it is responsible for the birth of the baby it is also responsible for the release of the milk through the mammary gland of the mother and uh, this completes the part of human reproduction thank you